What's going on guys? Welcome to today's workout where we are doing a pull day, working our back and our biceps. Just getting down my pre-workout right now. We've got two scoops of Big Noise, one scoop of Total War, one scoop of Moab, four ounces of cranberry juice, a little bit of water, and then um, I dashed a bunch of salt in there to help with uh, hydrating. So um, I'm gonna chug this down and then we're gonna get with it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a pull down. We're gonna try to mimic a lat pull down. So the idea with a lat pull down is to be able to arch your back, point your sternum up, and then pull those elbows down as hard as you can to really flex the lats. So that's what we're trying to do here with that, is try to keep our back arched, our sternum pointed towards where the bands are coming from and pulling down as hard as we can. We are going for four sets of 10 with this exercise. So let's get started. Guys, next up we're doing a straight arm pull down with the bands up high there. And then we're gonna superset that with what would be like a low cable row. We're gonna do four rounds of eight at each exercise. Take about a 60 second break after you do the low cable row. So go eight, straight into the other, eight. I'm gonna show you different angles of the straight arm pull down first, and then I'll show you different angles of the low cable row. So the next exercise we're gonna to try to do is a T-bar row. Now those of you that don't know what that is, that's where you've got the bar going between your legs and you're leaning down and pulling up into your waist with a tight, fixed, neutral grip handle. So we're gonna to try to mimic that. The big issue with using bands and trying to do this one is that we want a lot of force pulling our chest to the ground. And it's just hard to do that when you can't get, you know, very vertical, very high off of the bands, up high off the bands so they can pull you down so you can row it up. That's why we're gonna stand on our bench. We're gonna stand here, bend over, and that's gonna give us plenty of room to pull us down. If you don't have a bench, I recommend getting something. Get something to stand on, whether it's like a small table, a chair, something sturdy that you can stand on that's gonna hold you. So that's, you know, another reason why this bench is coming in handy. So what we're doing with T-bar rows, we're going for four sets of 15. One more thing, when you set your bands up for this exercise, make sure you attach the bands to both handles, like both sets of bands to both handles so that they're locked in place and they won't, you know, spread apart from each other. That way it closely resembles that T-bar row. I mean, unless of course you wanna do a T-bar row with your hands out here. I mean, I don't know, it just depends on how exactly you wanna do it. The way I'm doing it today is we're going close grip, holding everything together nice and tight. So four sets of 15, here we go. Next up guys, we 
we've got an incline concentration curl. So we have the bands hooked up at the very bottom of the door and we're gonna be leaning against this. Keep your hands pushed together and curl to your face. So with this one, we're going for four sets of eight. Go slow, really try to squeeze your biceps. Keep pushing the handles together. That helps keep everything tight. Guys, we are nearing the end of our routine. We've got an incline cable curl, <laughs> an incline band curl. Uh, we'll be leaning back against the bench there, hands back, curling up. We're going for four sets, 12 on this one. Last thing for biceps and all we got left is abs. to our anchor on the door to keep us in place so we don't slide off the bench. And we're gonna have our legs flat, we're gonna tuck our knees up and try to lift our hips up as high as we can, focusing on our abs. And for this, we've got five sets to failure. I don't care how many reps you get, five sets to failure. Mm -hmm. 